Hello Scorpio, welcome to your October 2022 general reading with myself, Thomas Janak. You're watching Thomas's Tower readings. Please like, subscribe and share. And if you like my work, you can now buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. Now, Scorpios, what we do here is we will um, divide the reading slightly into areas so it is easier to understand. So we will look at the overall energy for the months of October for the sign of Scorpio first, before we will then go into your emotional core, see if there's love coming in or whatever um, emotional burdens can now be released. Um, or maybe there's trauma that can go, that sort of stuff. Before we then look, lastly, into opportunities as they present themselves to you in the months of October and opportunities, dear Scorpios, are what about, it's all more, most, mostly about what sustains you financially. But the important thing for you, the overall energy for your sign of Scorpio is purification. So you have to let go of stuff that really isn't you. You have to let go of stuff that sits inside you but doesn't serve you. And this is the overall energy, which means um, while we haven't even looked at your emotional core, it is important to realize maybe it is time you step back a little and you assess your environment, you know, the people you're with, the situations you're in, um, from a more detached point of view, and then declutter, right? Purify <coughs> your environment, purify your life, which also means simplify um, things that are really, really important. Um, and don't underestimate this because we are in the 10th month and 10, because we don't really count the zeros, zero is only important mathematically, is um, a one month, just like January is. What that means is it is a month of new beginnings. And because you are being asked to pay attention to how how damaged you already are, um, don't underestimate this, right? Because when you have the energy of one, it is a kick-ass energy. So you will bring about changes when you determine to do that, right? And decluttering is actually quite a courageous thing. But pay attention to what is and isn't for you and what works and maybe what has uh, has to come to an end. Okay, that was your overall energy for the month of October for the very sign that you're in, which is Scorpio. Okay, so when it comes to emotions, your topic is openness. I don't know if you can see this here. Openness. All they're saying is, if you want to attract new beginnings in love, if you want to let go of old trauma, if you wish to bring the relationship you're in to a new level, you have to be open and you have to be communicating right, right? Speak your truths, say how you feel, be open, don't hide your feelings, don't hide your emotions. And also what I'm getting here strongly for you, Scorpios, is to not be extra kind and extra protective over the people you talk to if there's anything that they need to know even if it might be not so easy to to um, digest for them it needs to be said it is really really important for you to be open and communicate openly as well um, so what i'm getting for scorpius is unless you really claim how you want things to work it's hard to manifest it Right, so this month, October, you really are asked to to um to look at your life in its entirety, and then openly, openly, or so, which means show how you truly feel, so that change can be brought about. Okay, so now we're looking at the opportunities as they present themselves to you in the month of October. I just need a sip of my coffee. Speaking of coffee. If you like my work, <laughs> you can buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. So, lastly, <laughs> dear Scorpios, let's have a look at um, opportunities as they present themselves to you in the months <clears throat> of October. This is interesting because you have the term embracing. 
So what that means is, if you want to have a new beginning, if you want to progress in whatever it is you do, you have to first embrace the entirety of the situation you're in. So in other words, if you're not already super happy where you are, it is really pointless just to continue this and to hope that it will get better because it won't, right? Um, because embracing just means like, you know, everything that I find here and there will always be challenges, you know, um, reflects who I truly am. And that is really, really important because your overall theme is purification. So you sort of owe it to yourself to be honest to yourself and to, to live an authentic life. So don't just do any epoxy job because it pays well. Um, because you're, you're, you're too deep, which means you take stuff home that probably isn't really yours to take on in the first place. Right? So that's all we got. Um, please like, subscribe and share. Um, it really does help us grow the channel. And I see you all next month. Bye-bye, Scorpios.